Good, good, good. Welcome on this first day of May. Happy May Day, everyone. And I was just musing today on the beauty of nature, of course, right? With today being May, May Day. Um, and last month, having the amazing, at the first week of the month, you know, having the eclipse and all the amazing things that happened with it. And even, even here in, in Southern California, we got to see, you know, little moon shadows, uh, little crescent moon shaped shadows through the tree leaves. And it was just such a nice, beautiful month. And here we are at the beginning of another beautiful month of, of May. And today I've been making flower essences with my granddaughters. And today we, we, we made rose. So rose flower essence is joining us. And I wish you guys could smell it. It's, it's just beautiful. Very, very grateful for our plant friends. 90% of the planet is, is, uh, is plants. So we're welcoming them here today as well. And I had a little poem to read from David White, the wonderful poet, and just kind of a, a, a nice poem for the beginning of, of spring. And it's called Second Sight. Sometimes you need the ocean light and colors that you've never seen before painted through an evening sky. Sometimes you need God to be a simple invit invitation, not a telling word of wisdom. Sometimes you need only the first shyness that comes from being shown things far beyond your understanding so that you can fly and become free by being still and by, and by being still here. And then there are times that you need to be brought to ground by touch and by touch alone to know those arms around you and to make your home in the world just by being wanted. To see those eyes looking back at you as eyes should see you at last. Seeing you as you always wanted to be seen. Seeing you as you yourself had always wanted to see the world. And that's David White from his book, Pilgrim. And today we are seen, we are seen by all these fellow travelers with us, all these beautiful plants. And let's, let's just invite all the plant world into our meditation today to join us and, you know, to be part of it because there's, it's, it's glorious from the plankton in the sea to the wonderful trees that, that were here before us and will be here after, after we're gone. So find yourself a comfortable, comfortable seat and make yourself at home here, this special place on the planet that we have made into a meditation sanctuary your home, wherever we are. And then I always like to start, you can join me if you want, with bringing hands to heart center. And we can inhale and exhale and inhale. We are grateful. And allow your hands to rest in your lap or at your sides. You can notice your palms, whether they're resting up or down. They're resting towards the earth. You can feel that earth energy coming up into your palms. If they're resting up towards the sky, you can Feel that sky energy entering in through your palms. And then notice the feet on the ground.
Notice the ground beneath our feet. So steadfast, so stable, so here for all the beings of the earth. It's great, great, beautiful planet. And then next, let's notice our breath itself, breathing in and breathing out. And as our attention rests on the breath, we find that the breath deepens and slows, breathing in and breathing out. As that breath deepens and slows, the whole body releases and relaxes. From the top of the head, all the way to the fingertips, and all the way to the toes, releasing and relaxing. taking special notice of the places where we hold stress. Maybe the shoulders or the lower back, bringing that next breath there. Releasing any tightening in the jaw or in the eyes. The whole body resting, breathing, relaxing. Breathing in and breathing out. And then there's the senses. We can hear sounds all around us. We can see light coming in through our eyes. We can feel the solidity of whatever it is we're sitting on, it's holding us. can smell any scents in the air or tastes in our mouth. Noticing all of these without preference or judgment, just noticing. And then noticing that other thing that we can sense, the mind itself, the thoughts passing through, the feelings passing by, noticing these from the heart. Dropping from head to heart, 
noticing from the heart. And as we notice from the heart, find that all the borders and boundaries seem to drop away. And we are aware of all that surrounds us from the space of loving awareness. And we are that awareness itself. The thoughts go by feelings go by the sights and the sounds the tastes the things we feel and smell all pass by and we're aware of all these as awareness itself Noticing from the heart. And as we notice from the heart, there's a warmth, a peace that passes all understanding that's here. In this space of loving awareness, we live, we move, we have our being. And I invite you to bring someone who could represent this loving awareness for you, this space of presence of love. So it could be a teacher, could be a mentor, could be a tree or the ocean or a flower, could be a child or a loved one, or maybe a dear pet. And it could be the divine. And of course, all this love is divine. So this love, this divine love that surrounds us, fills us up, overflows. Here it is, right here. Noticing it from the heart and finding that it isn't different than who we are. This loving, spacious awareness. And that dear one, their presence fills us up with that love. And in gratefulness, we let that love overflow to someone who we just love, someone so easy for us to love. Notice that one from your heart and let that love flow to them, blessing them and filling them up. It's like gift giving. And as that love fills them up, we can use our phrases or words of compassion to bless them. And these words are like conduits of the love. 
And if you have your own, then I invite you to use those. But if you don't, then please do use mine. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be joyful. May you be free. Be happy. Be healthy. Be joyful. Be free. And as our dear one fills up with that love, they reflect it back to us and join in with us. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be joyful. May we be free. May we be happy, healthy, joyful, and free. And that freedom is the freedom to give and receive love to all beings everywhere. And included in that all beings is a stranger, someone that we don't know that well that maybe pops into our hearts today, someone that we maybe saw in a meeting or in a shop. It could be a neighbor that, that we've seen often, but we just don't know. Or the Amazon person or whoever it is, just someone who's basically a stranger to us. But for now, they are our beloved. And we let the love flow into them. And from the heart, from this space of loving awareness, we let the love flow to them. And these words become conduits of that love. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be joyous. May you be free. Be happy. Be healthy. Be joyous. Be free. And the love fills us up again and overflows. And as we check in with our special loving being and let their love flow through us, we bring to heart someone who we've had a difficult time with this week. We, we might love them very much, but it's just been tough this week. And we let that love flow to them. Or maybe they've had a tough time with us and we're aware of that. And, and we just want to smooth out that relationship with love. So connecting to this one who we've had a tough time with. We let the love flow through our hearts to them as conduits of this love. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be joyous. May you be free. 
May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be joyous. May you be free. And that joy is, is a deep root. It's a deep root of true life that flows through all the beings. And it's there for every being in the universe. And it's there for each one of us. And it's not different for any of us. It's the same fount, comes from the same fount, from the same spring. It flows through each one. So this one we've had a difficult time with really isn't any different than we are the same. And we let that love flow. And then we let our love overflow and our palms open to those who really need a blessing this week, some beings that really have had a difficult time. It could be someone who's, who's sick or someone who's had relationship or financial trouble, could be a family group, could be a community, could be a nation. And we let that love flow to these ones who truly need it this week and let the love flow. And maybe these words aren't perfect for the situation they're in, but this love is. So we let it surround them and fill them up. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be joyous. May you be free. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be joyous, may you be free. And the love keeps flowing to other beings that really need a blessing this week, and on and on, surrounding the globe with that love, healing, health happiness and we invite our own dear ones here to join in with us maybe opening up our palms as if we could hold hands with them in a circle and they gladly join in the blessing may we be happy may we be healthy May we be joyous. May we be free. From the heart, may we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be joyous. May we be free. And as the love flows, we Seek to include rather than exclude all of our acquaintances, all of the people that we've met, and then all of the ones that they've met or their acquaintances and family groups. And the circle grows and grows, including all these beings, those who are living in 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 poverty, those who are living in wealth, those who are housed, those who are unhoused, those who are being born, those who are dying. All the beings of the earth, all these human beings joining in together. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be joyous. May we be free. Be happy, be healthy, be joyous, be free. 
And then we include all the plant life of the earth and all the animals, every creature, every living creature, from the plankton and the algae and the sea to the microbes in the earth. to the tallest tree, to the biggest whale, all these creatures. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be joyous. May we be free. Be happy, be healthy, be joyous, be free. And we include the earth itself and the sky, and the waters. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be joyous. May we be free. And with each breath, we share this breath. We inhale and exhale with all the plants, the green growing plants of the earth. As they exhale, we inhale. As we inhale, they exhale. Each breath contributing to our corporate health, and our corporate happiness in unity and oneness. Breathing in and breathing out. Happy, healthy, joyous, and free. Knowing that any time during the week we can return one breath to this space that we can't leave this loving awareness, spacious loving awareness. It's who we really are. Breathing in and breathing out. And then bringing hands to heart center, we inhale and exhale and inhale. We are grateful. And I am very grateful for you joining me. Thank you. Thank you. Take a couple more breaths here. And I'm reminded of that quote from Bob Ross. There's nothing wrong with being friends with the tree. So I hope you're all good friends with the trees and the mountains and the sky, and the oceans, all the creatures of the earth. Big blessings, everyone. And I am going to turn off the recording in case anyone wants to share.